Things are heating up in Ukraine, with many saying that these next few months could determine the outcome and potentially Ukraine's survival. The Russians on Thursday launching massive missile strikes across Ukraine, firing at least 36 of them, according to Ukrainian officials. But tonight we're learning of something maybe even more sinister, well, certainly evil. Russia's reportedly taking Ukrainian children, thousands of them, to so-called re-education camps in Russia. The primary purpose is to wipe out their national identity and turn them pro-Russian. Russia reportedly brainwashing thousands of Ukrainian children. A new report from the Yale School of Public Health describes it as the single largest transfer of children since the Holocaust, obviously a war crime. According to the report, more than 6,000 children have been taken. Ukraine believes that number is closer to 15,000 and maybe even more. The report says some children have been taken right from their parents with promises they'll be returned. But in some cases, those returns are either delayed or postponed indefinitely. Altogether, we're talking children as young as four months and up to 17 years old who've been removed and taken to 43 camps across Russia in the year since the war began. There's even video published from the camps that gives you a glimpse of what's happening to these children. Those kids singing were more likely being forced to listen to the Russian national anthem. These pictures show other kids carrying the Russian flag. Children were also given firearm training. The children include orphans and those held in state institutions who, according to the report, appear mostly targeted for deportation to Russia's territory for adoption and or placement in foster care. Perhaps the most chilling part, some children are simply taken for good. The report saying 20 children from these camps are reported to have been placed with families in Moscow. Joining me now with more is one of the people behind this report, Nathaniel Raymond, Executive Director of Yale's Humanitarian Research Lab. Thank you very much for joining us, appreciate it. So this is obviously truly horrifying. How did you uncover this? We uncovered it primarily by translating the statements of Russian officials themselves. There were three primary baskets of data. Uh, one, the statements of Russian officials, mostly at the local and regional level, who on their own social media accounts were touting specific uh, individual uh, transfers of children, including by plane and by bus. The second major source of data uh, was Ukrainian parents sharing information about where their children might be. Uh, and then we had access in our, our third main data source to very high resolution satellite imagery. And what's critical here, Dan, is that the geographic scope of this network of facilities stretches from the Black Sea in uh, Russia-occupied Crimea to Moscow to Siberia and all the way to the eastern Pacific coast of Russia, closer to Japan and Alaska than to Ukraine. Wow. Now, when they're taking some of these kids who are not orphans, right, who have parents, uh, taking them away from their parents, how are they choosing uh, which children to take? Do we know? And I want to apologize for a dog in the background, uh, Dan, um, that we there's two major groups of children. One is from Kharkiv, Harrison and Zaporizhia. These are called evacuees. The second group are from Donetsk and Luhansk in Russia occupied areas targeted for reeducation. Have any of the kids been returned to their parents? And if so, what do we know about it? Approximately 200 uh, have been confirmed returned through retrievals by their own parents who entered Russia at great personal risk to find them. Um, many others have come back. We don't have a full number, um, but we know that over 10 percent of the facilities have had their returns delayed, sometimes canceled indefinitely. Any evidence that they're being sent back to fight? Not yet, but we've identified two facilities, including one in the Chechen Republic and one in Crimea, where boys 14 to 17 are being given firearms training and uh, vehicle training. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.